thanks for clicking on the video. I'm in the woods with my dog Amber and the plan is to do an overnighter right here in this plastic wrap shelter. I've got some sheep skins, I've got a deer hide, I've got a skillet, I've got a little kettle, I've got a sleeping bag, I've got some food, I've got some water, I've got a knife, axe and a saw and I'm going to be spending 24 hours right here. I just want to see how warm this can get. Bearing in mind it's still the middle of March so it's quite cold at night time but already in here having the fire going for a matter of 15-20 minutes it really has become nice and toasty in here and I don't even think I'm going to be closing the door because it's just that warm. So food wise I've got a nice bit of chicken, I've got a chicken leg that's been in a marinade for two days and I've also got some curry sauce. Yes I'm going to do a very simple woodland curry. Well there's nothing much woodland about it apart from the fact it's being cooked in the woodland. So please stay tuned until the end of the video and see what I get up to over the next 24 hours. <laughs> this dog, all she wants is attention. She loves a bit of attention, eh? Oh! <laughs> uh, hit the like button if you have a dog. And today I managed to buy the most, well, <laughs> the biggest can of beer I've ever seen. That there is one litre. And it is Danish. Yeah, long live the Vikings. <laughs> Many of you do probably know that I am half Danish. Anyway, skål. So what I've done is I've just browned off the chicken. I've got a bit of colour going on either side. I've then added some potatoes because they're going to take a while to cook. But I've also added onions which don't normally take a long time to cook. However, the onions should give a nice base layer of flavour to the dish. And then I'm just going to add a few carrots as well. And then what I'm going to do is just add this spiced tomatoey sauce. And now the idea is just to leave this for about 45 minutes to just simmer away, the potatoes will cook, the carrots will cook and the chicken will finish cooking. Every time I say the word chicken, my dog looks at me. Chicken? <laughs> you want a carrot? Yeah. So while that's cooking, let's talk about the shelter that I've built. So I've used some pine. Lots of these pine, they've all been toppled by bigger trees during a storm. So I didn't feel too bad salvaging these. Some of them were half alive, they were bent, snapped over, but I just cleared the area where this tree did fall in order to allow more sunlight to reach the floor, helping with all the other trees. And also it just gave me a few materials to use. So I started off with this cross section. And once I'd done the cross section, I then built the front. So basically these two arch bits in the front there, I, 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 I attached those to the cross section, whatever it's called. And then I pretty much just wrapped the whole thing with pallet wrap. I don't know, I might have used maybe 100, 150 meters, maybe 100 meters of pallet wrap, believe it or not. 
but it seems to have worked really well. And then I've got the wood stove and you can probably remember from the previous episode, I've cut a hole there and I've got these sticks to, to allow a bit, of, a bit of air around the flue so that the, um, the plastic doesn't melt. And yeah, it's actually, it's actually really warm in there. So I think it's gonna be a cozy night tonight. I've got a torch. As soon as it gets a little darker, I'm gonna place a torch, I'm gonna hang it up there. And then uh, I've got the food to tuck into. I might have another one of those beers, you never know. Got my sleeping bag to get out and air out. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. It's been, you know, I thought about this for a long time, building this type of shelter. I wanted to see how efficient it would be when it comes to holding heat in. So far, it seems really efficient. It's so warm in there. So I just dragged this pine tree over. This is actually bone dry. It was dry standing, so it was dead dry standing. That high pitched chime, that's a bit of an indicator for dried wood. And it doesn't smell wet, it doesn't feel wet on my face. Yeah, bone dry, great bit of wood. So I'm gonna spend the next 20 minutes sourcing firewood, which should keep me nice and warm tonight. But it's all about managing that fire. So what I'll do is I'll put quite a bit of wood on before I go to bed and I close the valve or, or the vent on the front of the wood stove to slow down that burn, giving me more heat for longer rather than leave it open and it will burn out within an hour or so. Yeah, I'm so excited about this. It's the first time I've ever built anything like this. I've built moss roof shelters, log cabins. I built a Viking house with TA outdoors. And I've also built the roundhouse as well as various other lean-tos and n natural shelters. But this is something different. And I'm so glad that I've actually done it. It's, it was a bit of a push because I wasn't too sure how well it would be received on the channel, on my Bushcraft Tools YouTube channel, because everything is normally natural. But I had to try this. Again, it's not Bushcraft, I think it's more survival but it's an interesting experiment to see how warm it's gonna get in here compared to out there. If you have a dog, do me a favor, pause the video right now and comment what breed of dog you have. I've just realized I forgot to throw in this one clove of garlic. And I've just got a few sweet peppers to throw in as well. Just because we're about, probably about 10 minutes away from it being ready to eat. And I thought it'd be the perfect time to throw in a few of these softer vegetables. I've got some green beans and I've got a few yellow and red pointed peppers, sweet peppers. So 
So the reason why I'm cooking this meal is because in episode two, I asked for somebody to make a suggestion when it comes to food I can cook here in the woods. And I'm really sorry, I've forgotten who it was, but somebody suggested chicken curry, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I am quite a big fan of these meals when it comes to throwing everything into one pot because when you're camping it just makes it that much easier. One thing I haven't mentioned is that I have as well brought with me, I've got two or three little naan breads so I'm going to heat them up in the wood stove just before serving my meal. And also I just want to say a huge thank you, I said it in the previous episode, to everyone that has supported the channel by purchasing some of these cooksers or whether you've purchased a spork or even a wooden chopping board again you know who you are thank you so much Mm. Right, let's try a bit of chicken. You know it's going to be hot. You've had your food. This is such a perfect meal for a cold evening in the woods. Um, yeah, thank you very much to whoever it was that suggested it. Thank you. Mm. And if there's anybody else that has a cooking idea let me know. Simply comment down below. Wow. Dinner for one in the woods. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love camping out in the woods with a tasty meal. Mmm. So good. Mm. That reminds me, I walked past a pine tree earlier and I snapped off the end of the branch so that way I can make a nice cup of tea in the morning. I keep seeing these moths trying to trying to break in. But now I've got the camera out, they've all disappeared. But yeah, I keep hearing this tapping noise of a moth going, hey, let me in, let me in. So it's been about one and a half hours since I finished that meal. And I'm now gonna just fluff up my sleeping bag, which has got duck down feathers in it. I should have done this hours ago. And then yeah, 
One thing that I've done is I've built an extra wide bed. A lot of you will remember that when I do go out camping with Amber, and especially when I build a bed like this, I never make it wide enough. She always sleeps on top of me. So this time, hopefully Amber, you'll be sleeping next to me, not on top of me, yeah? Okay. <laughs> um, oh, she, look, I think she's gone into crazy mode, haven't you? <laughs> oh, he's such a crazy dog. Anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna fluff up my sleeping bag, place it down, Amber's probably gonna jump on it straight away. The idea is I'm gonna sleep on the bed, Amber will sleep next to me, not on top of me. Uh, I'm also thinking about these deer, or well, these trail cams that I've left out. And I'm wondering whether I should go over and just make sure that I have pressed the button to activate any recording that is picked up with a motion sensor, whatever it is. Um, because I really would like to get some footage. Saying that, I'll probably go over there and then get no footage at all overnight. But you never know. So if you don't hear from me, if I don't report back, I'll be back in the morning, sunrise, with an update. See you then. <laughs> oh yeah, you're crazy dog. You're crazy, aren't you? Hey, oh good morning Amber. Hey. <laughs> oh, big yawn. That was a big yawn, wasn't it? Hey. Oh. Oh. Did you sleep well? Mm. Oh, I'll tell you what though, that food last night, that food was so good. I think all the spices, they kept me warm as well. They probably helped keep me warm when the fire went out. Yeah, for breakfast, I've just got, I've got some fruit, just simple old, I've just got pear, kiwi fruit. Nice, simple, tasty, and I don't need to cook it. Oh, it was so nice waking up. I'll show you the view. Have a look at what I'm looking at right now. So the walls are a lot clearer compared to the roof because the roof has got several layers on it. And I kind of wanted just one single layer along the walls 
to really give that clear feel although it's quite tricky to to get these clear clear what I mean is you can see the creases and that's just a result of the well you can see the light on the creases and it's just, it's just a result of the creases really but yeah to wake up to this was incredible there's the Sun coming up through there and I left the door open because I was very conscious or I was, I was very aware of having a wood stove in this enclosed area and the I was just thinking about carbon monoxide poisoning it's something to really think about if you're going to have a fire or a wood stove in a sealed off area oh hello and that's why under here you can see there's gaps. Oi, no! Ah, oi! Emma! Oh. Emma! 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 <laughs> oh. So you can see there's gaps. And that just. Oh. 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 So the gaps just allows air in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it just it gives it lots of airflow. <laughs> Abba, <laughs> oh, what a way to wake up! Oh, hey, who? You know, dogs really are man's best friend. Yeah, aren't they? No, 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 no! Get your face out of my face! <laughs> Oh, oh. All right, I better sit up. Right, I'm gonna sit up because all she wants to do is squash me, hug me, and kiss me. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Pine needle tea. A great start, a great drink to start the day off with, and it's packed full of vitamins. No? I'll leave it there for you. So warm in here, isn't it, Amber? So warm in here.
Well, that is it for this video. Thank you very much if you're still watching. It's been a great experiment building this. It's been quite an easy build because not many natural materials have been used. Again, I don't really consider this bushcraft, but I just had to try this. I had to try making a shelter out of this pallet wrap or plastic wrap, whatever you want to call it. It really did hold in the heat. It kept the cold out. Um, the wood stove worked great. The bed was great. The little table. Yeah, well, you know, I could have made a bed out of the pallet wrap as well. I could have made a bed out, uh, sorry, I could have made a table out of the pallet wrap, but I chose not to. I'm going to leave this up, I think, for a few more days. I might come back depending on how many likes this video gets. If we can get over, I said a thousand earlier, I'm gonna change it. If we can get over 2000 likes, I'm gonna come back here next week and do another overnighter. And then I'm gonna disassemble everything, dispose of all the materials, the plastic. I'll try and recycle the plastic if I can. Yeah, and I'll take the wood stove. Again, this is private woodland, which is why I'm gonna leave this up right here, right now. Thank you very much if you're still watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.